Good morning and welcome to Rock Kids. We're really glad that you joined us today. We're going to be talking some more about the armor of God. But before we do that, let's sing some songs. Maybe it's a little bit crazy to believe what I cannot see. Maybe it's a little bit crazy that my best friend is my savior. Maybe it's a little bit crazy that a king gave his life for me. Maybe it's a little bit crazy, but I've heard much stranger. Cause some things you gotta see by faith. Jump up and down. Jump up and down. Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Because I have found this love, and I believe in the Son. Show me your way, Jesus. You are my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that. Jesus, you are my best friend. You will always be, nothing will ever change that. I believe in the one called Savior. I believe he's the risen one. I believe that I'll live forever. I believe that the King will come. Cause I have found this love. And I believe in the Son. Show me your way, Jesus, you are my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that, Jesus, you are my best friend, and you will always be, and nothing will ever change that, nothing will ever change that, no, nothing best friend and you will always be and nothing will ever change 
change that Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be Nothing will ever change that Yes, we say nothing will change that Lord You'll always be our best friend Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be And nothing will ever change that Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be Nothing will ever change that Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be And nothing will ever change that Jesus, you are my best friend You will always be and nothing will ever change that. Oh, my goodness, that is so true. He will always be your best friend. In every situation, uh, he's the one, the Bible says, who's closer than a brother. So if you, whatever you're feeling today, whether you're feeling anxious or whether you feel excited or happy, just know that he is always there. We're going to do a new song today. It's called Thankful. And, you know, I'll say, Nancy, I know there are times in my life when I'm feeling down or I'm looking at my situation and I, I don't know, I'm looking around, I'm not feeling good about it. But, you know, when I take time to remember all the good things that God has done in my life, it changes me. It changes me from the inside out. Then I have joy and peace. Oh, just so, so important. So let's sing about that today. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. And I want to remember all the things that the Lord has done in my life. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to live in my hands. Say that I love him, I just want to live my heart in praise. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful, I want to be grateful, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be thankful, I want to be. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, 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 I want to be. Great singing, you guys. That's awesome. Well, we've been talking about the armor of God, haven't we? So last week, we talked about the boots or the shoes in the armor of God. And we're learning the verse from Ephesians. So get your Bible and turn to Ephesians chapter 6. Let me read it to you what we've been learning. Standing firm with the belt of truth, that's the first one we did, fitted around your waist, and the breastplate of righteousness, that was number two, and then last week, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Now, this armor is invisible. I don't want you to go home and think you're actually putting on a belt and putting on shoes. It's kind of like the wind. You know it's there, but you can't actually see it. So let me ask you a couple questions from last week. Why do we need special shoes or special boots? Do you remember? 
It was to tell other people about Jesus, right? And to be ready all the time to tell them about Jesus. And are they real shoes or real boots? No, they're invisible. We got that figured out already. And today, what's the next piece of armor we're going to talk about? It's the shield of faith. Now, what's faith? That's kind of a tricky one, isn't it? Faith is when we believe in something that we can't see. Now, let me show you a little trick. I'm going to stand like this, and I'm going to fall backwards. And I'm pretty sure I believe there's going to be someone there to catch me. If not, I'm going to crack my head. So let's hope there is. But let's see. Should we see? All right. Are you ready? Count with me. Three, six, two, one. <laughs> there we go. Look. Just, did you peek in, Josiah? Josiah was there to catch me. It worked. See, I had faith that somebody was there to catch me. So I didn't fall bang on the ground. That's what faith is. Faith is believing something when you can't see it. So the Bible talks about having the shield of faith. So we have to have a shield that helps us to believe in things that we can't always see. Hmm. Let's have a look at this picture for a minute. This is a Roman shield in this picture right here. And see how big it is? Sometimes we, we, when we play with shields, we just play with little tiny shields, don't we? But this is a big shield. This shield is so big that the Roman soldier could kneel down behind it and actually be totally protected. Pretty cool, huh? So he could actually advance and then sneak down behind the shield and be protected. So why as Christians do we need our invisible shield of faith? Hmm. Well, we know that we're fighting against the enemy, don't we? And he's always trying to make us stop believing in God. And he tries all kinds of tricks to throw at us, and we've got to protect ourselves. That's why we need the field shield of faith. Well, here's some of the arrows that he throws at us. God doesn't love me. That's one of the things he whispers in our ear. He says, God doesn't love me. And we know that's not true. So we've got to hold up our shield to fight against that. And he might also give us, he might whisper in your ear, what if someone I love very much dies? He tries to get us with fear, doesn't he? So he, show, he throws fear at us. And he also throws doubt. What if I pray and nothing happens? Oh, I don't know if I want to pray because God might not answer my prayers. He throws doubt at us. And lastly, oh, he throws temptation at us. Oh, just take one. It doesn't matter. If you're in the store and there's some candies, you can take one. Nobody will notice. And he tempts us to do things that aren't right. So the devil is always shooting stuff our way, and we need to protect ourselves. So if we hold up the shield of faith, when these temptations, when these arrows come at us, they will bounce right off the shield of faith and not get us. See, if the enemy can get us to doubt what the Bible says, he starts to win the battle but the shield of faith will protect us. The Bible says that we live by faith, and that just means we believe what the Bible says, because it's super important. If the Bible says God loves us, then we believe that God loves us, and we shouldn't believe any other lies. If the Bible says that God has a great future for us, then we have to believe that. And when the enemy um, shoots an arrow at us that says, nah, God's not concerned about you, we deflect it with the shield of faith because the shield of faith always protects us. When things go wrong or seem to be going wrong, we've got to lift up our shield of faith and recognize what's going on. The Bible actually says that out of all the armor, the shield of faith is the most important one. Let's look back in that verse. Um... It doesn't say it in that verse, but in another one it says that the shield of faith is the most important. It says, above all else, have the shield of faith. When we lift up the shield, then all the missiles, all the arrows, all the things that the enemy throws at us will bounce right off and they won't get us. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let me ask you a couple of questions. See if we got today's lesson. So, what piece of armor, out of all the armor of God, is the most important one? Right, it's the shield of faith, because that helps us to stand strong. And what kind of arrows and missiles does the enemy throw against us? Do you remember? Things like doubt and fear and temptation, all those are the things that the enemy tries to take us down with. 
And what do we lift up when all those things come against us? When we have those thoughts that are fearful or doubt or temptation, what do we lift up? Our shield of faith, don't we? And that way we can stand. Okay, last question. Are you ready? When we lift up our shield of faith, what will it make us? Hmm, good question. What will it make us? Will it make us rich? Will it make us sick? Will it make us proud? Or will it make us victorious? Do you know what victorious means? That means being a winner. So will it make us rich or proud or sick or a winner? Right, it makes us a winner. Put your arms in the air like you're a winner. Like, yes, we're a winner when we have that shield of faith. So this week, I want you to practice lifting the shield when the enemy throws things at you. So when we get a thought, and it's not what the Bible says, we lift up our shield of faith and say, nope, I'm not going to believe that because I'm going to believe what the Bible says. And by doing that, you'll be using your shield of faith and those thoughts will be bouncing off and not getting to you. All right, let's pray. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you that you've given us the armor of God to wear and that we can be protected against the things that the enemy would throw at us. So Father, I pray this week that the kids would learn to hold up their shield and to deflect anything that the enemy would throw at them. Help them to be strong this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thanks for joining us on Rock Kids. Hopefully we'll see you next week. See ya.